Happy Valentine's Day everyone! Seeing as I'm spending another Valentine's Day alone, I thought I'd use my spare time to make another stupid video. Last year, me and a friend played Smash or Pass with the FNAF animatronics, and it was certainly eventful. That's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smash? Smash, yeah. <laughs> The thing is, I wasn't totally truthful in that video, and I have a lot of regrets because of that. So today I'm going to be genuinely ranking the hottest FNAF characters. A couple of things to note, these are not children, nor possessed by children. I am simply basing this off of the animatronic robot body itself. And the other thing is I'm asexual, so don't even think about making this weird. Got it? I'm going to be using three tiers. Essentially the best I'll be calling a hot robot, the worst will be a devoid android, and the middle of the road is now truly a mediocre melody. Let me know how you'd rank the robots in the comments below. Okay, let's get started. Of the original crew, none of them really stand out as being too yiffable. Yes, I did just use that word. They're all really tatty designs and apparently they absolutely stink, so I think it's a no-brainer that they deserve to be part of the trash gang. Oh, and while we're here, no, I'm not going to be making out with Bucket Bob. You'll have no hope. Okay, maybe I'd make out with Golden Fred. The Withers are way too withered for me, I guess. The toys are a lot cleaner and I probably shouldn't call them that. Toy Freddy is an absolute giga chad and is a pog champ gamer, but honestly, I don't really feel anything with the guy. I think we could be good friends, but damn, Toy Bonnie looking fine though. I'm not embarrassed to say it, that's one of my favorite shades of blue, and look at those eyelashes, absolutely adorable cretin. Toy Chica is a hard one, the fan art I've seen of her as well, I'm never going to be able to unsee it, honestly. But girl, please keep your beak on along with your bib. I'm gonna have to put you in the middle section. Oh, hi Mangle. What's that? Everyone should subscribe. Oh, sure. Thanks, Mangle. TRASH! Shadow Freddy isn't for me, he's just a bit too mysterious, but okay, Shadow Bonnie is a babe. The only thing I'm worried about is I'm not going to remember your name after a first date. Probably not after a second either. I could just pretend that my name is a string of numbers and letters so he gets the same treatment, but it's hard to know how far I'll go just for Shadow Bonnie. I guess he goes in the middle. Okay, now the puppet is weird to me because it absolutely terrifies me, and I think I like that. Like, there's something about its lanky body with black and white stripes that I like. I told you this was gonna be weird, okay? The puppet is officially hot. Now finally we have Balloon Boy and JJ, and this one's really difficult. I'm joking, they should not even get the option, that is just cursed. I, I, I just realized how cursed this is. Springtrap is a no from me, but if I was to do Kiss, Marry, Kill on the Williams, I'd kiss Glitchtrap, marry Springtrap and kill the others. I just don't think any of them would be suitable though in committed relationships. They'd all be way too clingy. No matter how many times you dump him, he'll always come back. And then there's the Phantoms, let's just get this over and done with. Nope, 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 yes, nope. Imagine trying to kiss any of the nightmares, those big sharp teeth are just going to ooh la la hentai. Okay, I'm back. So, that's the first four games, and just looking at the list, it doesn't look like I have a certain type of animatronic that I like more than another, but that could all change going into sister location. I feel like people expect me to swipe right to Baby, but honestly, she's too childish for me. I don't really like clowns at all. I don't like mimes or puppets or anything like that either. I'm looking for something more mature. Oh, speak of the devil, Ballora is a MILF. She has got an absolutely huge smile. Look at that grin. I like girls with dreamy smiles like that one, so that's 100% a hot robot. Funtime Freddy, listen, you're so far away from my type, it's crazy. Funtime Foxy though, oh, you're absolutely going up there. Lolbit can join you too. I feel like Ennard is just a combination of all of them though. A childish MILF that is so not my type to the point where he is. Nope, he's not. He's just a bunch of wires with an attractive face. But I guess that's what the mask is. That's what the point of the mask is. Yendo really needs one. Now, don't judge, but Funtime Chica is actually hot though. I'm, I'm just being honest, okay? But now I'm realizing honesty might not be the best policy. Speaking of which, I don't know why, but Scrap Baby is really something else. Not good enough for Hot Bot, of course, but she definitely has potential. I hate myself. Molten Freddy, wait, I've seen you before. Wait, you're Ennard, but with another mask. Bruh, 
Man's trying to catfish me. I see straight through you. I'm putting you in the new catfish section along with Lefty because I can literally see the puppet's arm in your suit. You don't even need to catfish me to make me say yes. I already swiped right on you. If Candy Cadet can tell me a good story, I'll give him a chance. Now I will tell you a story. A story about a candy dispenser robot who had five failed marriages. The robot lived in despair and desperately needed them back in his life, but he couldn't choose which ex-wife was the best. So instead, he severed a body part of each woman and stuck them all together into the perfect wife. Yeah, I'm, I'm good mate. This is weird. This is almost nearly attractive. This is creepy. My god, this algorithm is terrible. Puppet! Now, the actual mediocre melodies are super fruity, but most of them won't become actual mediocre melodies here. The only one I think is somewhat attractive is Happy Frog. That's right, everyone. Happy Frog is the mediocre melody of all time. By the way, Mr. Hippo is a reminder to not look too deep into this video. It's just for fun. Okay, but can we all just agree that these are really ugly? Spring Bonnie has some really beautiful green eyes that go really well with the yellow. I strangely think this is a hot robot. Fredbear, on the other hand, well, he gives me the creeps, so no thank you. Dreadbear gives me those same creeps, but on a whole new level. Grim Foxy is... Hot and dangerous. I like this flavor of Roxy. It's like those hot Doritos. Um, I can tell you right now that I'm attracted to almost zero FNAF AR skins. But have a guess which ones I'm going to pick out. Okay, let's go through them. High score Toy Chica is mediocre at best. System Era Toy Bonnie is a more attractive version of regular Toy Bonnie. Ringmaster Foxy has a whip. Arctic Ballora is almost cool. Heartsick Baby is basically Dark Romance Baby, and I'm all for it. And finally, Clockwork Ballora is one of my favorite skins, so it's gotta be up there. And then finally, we have the Security Breach Bunch, and Glamrock Freddy is actually a tricky one for me, just because of how funny and cute I find him in the game. But it's definitely not a romantic thing, so he's going into the mediocre melodies. Roxanne Wolf, however, oh, she's a feisty one. Glamrock Chica was a design that I never really used to like all that much. I don't know, I just felt like it was a little bit plain and lacking something else. But recently, I have actually warmed up to the design a lot, and I can now say that she's gonna follow Roxanne Wolf. I really just believe that all of the Glamrock animatronics are full of joy and personality, and that's why I find them all so appealing. Monty, to me, is one of the most unattractive animatronics in the series. That's not even a joke. I don't get all those thirst traps. He just reminds me of Vector from the Sonic series. If there was a rank below the lowest rank, I'd put him there. I have no sense of attraction towards him. It feels a bit weird now to move on to DJ Music Man and the Blob after saying that. I can't imagine myself with these titans in any serious context except me being terrified for my life. Speaking of which, I absolutely adore Sun's design and personality. Like, literally, we match personalities at times. But I feel it's a bit dangerous to engage in romance with someone who changes when the lights go out. I mean, most girls do that anyway. I'm gonna have to throw Sun and Moon in the middle category. I am so sorry, but Mapbot is super cute, and I'm embarrassed about it, so let's move on to our final animatronic. Yeah, Vanessa or Vanny probably isn't an animatronic, but that's not going to stop me from including her in the video. So, Vanessa isn't usually someone I'd go for, I don't think, but when we take a look at the entire series and all its characters, Vanessa is really the only one that just isn't weird to say yes to, I, I don't think. So that's it. I definitely missed a lot of characters, but let's just assume they all go in the bottom category. This video has been a weird and wild ride, but I hope you at least enjoyed it. Let me know if you did, because it's quite different to the usual content I make, and I saw an excuse to make it, so why not, you know? Hope all you lovebirds have a great Valentine's Day, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.